I know sometimes a lot of people, when they think about meditation, they perceive it to be this kind of sacred practice, which it can be, and it actually is, but it can actually be quite scary for people who have never done it before. You know, they might have preconceived notions about it and might not know how to approach it in a way that's practical. And that's my hope with this video today is just to share some tips with you guys on how to get started in a way that's accessible and approachable and easy for you. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Melissa and I help people navigate through their mental health journey. And in this video, I'm going to share with you guys how to establish a daily meditation practice and beginner's guide. Let's get started. So the first and most important tip to establish a daily meditation practice is to set a consistent time and place. I found that for me, including it at the end of my daily morning routine has been quite helpful. I usually meditate around 9 to 9.30 every morning. It's also important as far as meditation goes is to make it a daily habit, just kind of how it's automatic for you to wake up and just go to the bathroom and brush your teeth. You kind of want to make that the same case with meditation. Human beings were pretty much creatures of habits and so we want to be able to do things on autopilot. Having a consistent time and place where you constantly show up every day into your meditation practice is going to really go a very long way for you. It's a really good way to use as a tool to train your mind and when I think of meditation I kind of think of it as a way to practice your mental fitness just kind of like how we all know that it's important to exercise and to consistently exercise it's the same thing with your mind meditation is setting the time aside each and every single day or as often as it works for you to train your mind exercise your mind get that mental fitness going and then this is the second part of this component setting a place usually around this time if Jonathan happens to be home I usually let him know that it's gonna be time for me to meditate hey babe just want you to know that I'm gonna be meditating for 15 minutes just leave me alone okay thank you bye do not disturb me, leave me 10 to 15 minutes with undisrupted, uninterrupted time because it's so important. Meditation is your time for you to just connect with yourself, disconnect from the external world and direct your focus in your internal world. Get a feng shui going, clear the space out. What I usually do is I like to keep the windows open because I specifically like hearing the sounds of the birds. It makes me feel connected to the very present moment with what's happening around me and I usually also have have a diffuser going. I like to put lavender in there and peppermint oil. Lavender helps with calming the mind. Peppermint also helps with a concentrated mind. For some reason, I don't know why, when I smell the scent of peppermint, it leaves a very cooling sensation and misty sensation in my brain and it feels really good. <laughs> what I usually do is I usually take this pillow you see right here, I place it down and I sit on top of it. I usually like to have something lean against my back because my posture is something that I have to constantly take note of and so having my back pressed up against something I found that really helps. So moving on to the next tip is experimenting with guided meditations. When you're approaching meditation for the very first time, you might not know exactly how to do it. You might not exactly know what the process looks like. There's many, many different types of meditation. What I personally like to use is guided meditations, especially with the Headspace app. That was something that I use and still use use religiously. I use the premium paid version. I think it's worth it. It helps to have a guide because like I said, the mind is very busy, is very overactive. And so having that guide and having that voice in the back to facilitate you and to remind you to bring your focus back to the present moment, I find really helps. Think of it kind of like training wheels on a bike, right? When you're younger, you wanted to learn how to ride a bike. You first start off with training wheels and you keep on riding it with the training reels until you feel like you're ready so having that guide kind of serves as the training wheel even now I still use guided meditations the headspace app it will lead you through breathing techniques relaxation techniques and exercises take you through a mindful based approach the third tip that I want to walk you guys through is to start small I can't emphasize to you how important this is when I first started I had a very ambitious goal of doing it for 30 minutes every day and 
and very quickly I found that that was a very unrealistic goal especially if it's something that you're doing for the first time just anything in life if you're starting a practice or a new skill set for the very first time it's always good to ease into it you don't want to jump from being at a level to pro level with no training in between and when I say start small maybe do like three to five minutes consistently on a day-to-day -day basis goes a very long way my technique for moving up in the length of time is I started out with three to five minutes and usually after three to five minutes when it feels like it hasn't even been three to five minutes and it feels like it's only been a minute or two that's my cue to usually move up and so I went from three to five and then ten and after doing ten consistently I found that ten minutes went by very fast and that was kind of my cue to move on to the next one which is 15 minutes the longest that I can stick to at this very moment even after doing it for six months consistently is 20 minutes I can't go for longer than that just even doing it for a whole month you can see drastic changes in results make an initial time commitment because you want to train your mind to become used to something like that especially if you knew your mind isn't used to working out mentally and so you want to ease into it and slowly build on the next you want to make it a daily habit you want to make it as easy and as attainable as possible so the next one is is consistent practice I know this one is a very very huge thing to keep in mind when it comes to trying to implement or adopt a daily meditation practice because I'll be honest with you not every session is gonna be good not every session is gonna be easy I know that when I first started out and even now like I'm not a professional I'm definitely still a, a novice still a beginner you'll find that when you're sitting down to go and meditate your mind wanders so much like wow my mind wanders so often throughout the practice and oftentimes when you find that your mind wanders it's very easy to step into meditation expecting a certain outcome and already going into meditation with that kind of mindset it's already gonna put you in a state of failure go into it with no expectation it's something that you experience as much as I can explain and describe what meditation is like the only way for you to truly understand what it is is to experience it for yourself and see what happens it's gonna be very hard at first committing to it because like I said your mind isn't used to it your mind doesn't like new things your mind is very resistant to changes and discomfort or whatever excuses that you want to make to not commit to it as with anything stick with it push through the resistance you will find that eventually over time it does get easier and easier and once you commit to it over a certain amount of time consistently consistently on a day-to-day -day basis. There will actually be some sessions where you come out of it feeling high <laughs> because you're breathing in, taking in oxygen, and you're really grounded in the present moment. It's an intangible experience, you know what I mean? It's hard to describe. This is just an, a bonus right here is one way of me keeping track of my progress because oftentimes when you're kind of going through a process of change or the process of trying to adopt a new habit, it's very easy to focus on the end result. Your mind does and focus on the journey and that's really what it's all about is just the journey of it committing to a daily meditation practice is a lifelong journey and so one of the things that I found has helped me is to journal my experience I have a journal in my phone and I keep a meditation journal and as I was committing to my daily meditation practice up to 100 days I logged my experience my thoughts about it how I felt after each and every session you can kind of see the progress that you made and and just seeing that progress and looking back really makes you feel good and makes you feel that you're definitely making progress and that you're actually working toward transformational change so yeah find a way to track your progress find a way to keep track of every single session if you want I can make a video on how to journal and how to log your meditation entries so that you can have a frame of reference for each session and how your experience was along the way I can do that for you let me know down in the comments below if that's something that you'd like to see from me I can definitely make that happen for you guys so that's it guys that's all that I have for you today I hope you found value in this video thank you so much for watching that being said I will see you guys in the next video peace much love and many blessings to you